The ultimate Isle of Mystery. The Nameless Isle. What will we find here in the Nameless Isle? Let's find out. So we just got here literally in the last episode. Um, danger level 38. Figure I'll explore this area. We got the ship in the last episode. But yeah, welcome back Dr. Path Traveler 2. And we got a new enemy. Collared Salamander. And now we can spear or dagger. Not weak to bow either. It's just, this is a salamander, it's probably weak to ice, right? When I think of salamander, I think of fire, so. Let's see if it's weak to axe. Yep, weak to axe, okay. So weird when you steal it in the canoe. And I love that they brought the canoe back uh, in a game. Not a whole lot of games. There's not a whole lot of JRPGs where you can use a canoe. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Final Fantasy 1. And this game. And that's about it. I don't really know of any other ones. There probably is some other ones though, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. <laughs> Wow. Fighting is not what I do. Fighting is not what I do. Well, too bad you're gonna fight anyway, bro. I don't care if you wanna fight or not. If you don't if you don't wanna fight, then your ass gotta go. <laughs> Here we go. Ancient Rat King one. Less than spear dance. On, what the hell did it do? They put a buff on us. What buff is that? I think it's elemental defense. I think that's what it put on us. Yeah. I read the dagger. Where was I? Smite that. Is that the spot? Oh, one well, up front speak the lightning, okay. Hold strong. Bring it on. Arrow up for you. With that JP. Rosing pomegranate medium. Very well. Be here. I've already got one of those, so I'll just get rid I'll just get the spicy jerky. Yeah, I got one right here, Ancient Rat King 3. I'm just gonna 
Good spot to get spicy jerky. And a good spot to level up too. It's given more than the storyline so far. The enemies aren't that hard either. Let's go this way and then we'll go up there. Okay, we got another new, two new enemies here, or is this all same enemy? Ooh, ancient rack in six. Holy shit! Are we about to die? <laughs> they move from three to six. Oh, they're double shot. Oh, okay, Rat King. Okay, that's not a Rat King. Rat Kings are totally different. Rain of arrows. Oh. That's annoying, they could poison the entire party. Get leveled up, level 36. So we'll go down here first. Then great bunch, nice, that's actually really good. Might as well steal from it. I don't know what the energizing pomegranates do. I don't remember. Very, very good. Come out of here with like a million, um, spicy, oh crap, she just died.
Okay, they're dropping pomegranates. Uh, boost your BP. Okay, greatly re restores BP. That's actually pretty good. The Phoenix down. Otherwise known as Alb of Life. Oh crap, I was using the wrong attack. What does spicy jerky do? I'm gonna look that up after this battle. Let's see. Raises a physical raises a single ally's physical attack and elemental attack for three turns. Okay. So that's a very aggressive food. We got two new enemies again. We got Gooey Slug and Reptalion. Reptalion. Got any of their weaknesses? Thanks. Herb of Grace, Bud, Island Skewer times three. Blend in. Hang. I don't know how to put th their weakness on those chameleons. Weak to ice. Using serum. Captured it, but it's okay. Fighting is not what I do. Let's see. Let's keep going here. Quartz axe. Okay, boost. Oh, it's good for magic. Some chance to reduce target's elemental attack. A guardian axe is better though, but it, it just has lower accuracy. My turn. Well, well. Easy. 
<laughs> Wipe those enemies out fast. Just up here, too. Oh, crap. Oh, let's not do that yet. I'll, uh, I'll do it. I just want to go back to the... I just want to save it for... Because I don't want to lose all my progress here. In case I get a game over. There's still one more spot we need to explore around here anyway. And then I'll come back and fight that thing. Uh, I want to go save it though. We did a lot here. And I don't want it to all go to waste. Because I don't know what we're about to battle. I don't plan to look it up either. I haven't really looked up a whole lot in this playthrough. Because I'm trying to... Do this all blind. Conscious stone. Prevents unconsciousness. Okay. So yeah, there's no save point here though. So we're going to have to... I'm going to have to leave and then come back. So, um... Cavern of Waves... That's 48 though, holy shit. I'm not going there for a while. Tropu Hapu. Yeah, I guess I'll go to Tropu Hapu. I'll save it. Oh, we'll go back to the Nameless Isle. Obviously, I want to rest at the end first. It's probably some bullshit boss. Since it's an optional, it's an optional ball, so it's going to be some bullshit. You already know, you already know it is. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have to think about it, you know it's going to be bullshit. So... Oh, I think I gotta, I, gotta, I think I gotta leave Tropu Hapu to get on my ship. I figured I could board it from here, but nope. Can't board it here, sir. You gotta go outside. Where'd my ship even be at? I know we could travel here. That's right. Yeah. On the water. Timonos level 37. This part is actually really good. I got deal more damage on all my characters too, so they can deal over 9,999. Ebony Eel. 
I'm gonna slow it down because it is a new enemy, so. We'll fight it straight up here instead of cheesing the battles. I like to give the newer enemies a chance to fight. Oh, I died, dang it. Make me rich, Bethelgen. This thing likes to shoot glue glue at us. Or should stop shooting glue glue at me. I don't appreciate I don't appreciate the glue glue. I'm gonna be to capture it next turn. Okay, it's strength of seven. Very vicious snare. I guess I'll take it because it's better than the killer bug. It has more strength than the killer bug. You're always hungry, oh shit. Okay, I was just making sure I had extra EXP. I don't even know why I'm battling because if I can't beat the boss, it's all going to be a waste. But I guess I can kill the enemies pretty fast. The battles take a long time, they're pretty fast. Is not what I do. Domination, that's what I do. Dominate. Can almost can almost get their second uh, ability there. Their divine skill there. If I beat the ball, so this won't be a waste of time. But I'm kind of scared because I don't know what we're about to fight. Let's try the very vicious snare. I don't know what hell that does. I guess it lowers our physical defense. Okay, here we go. Sure to fully heal yourself. You're ready for boss time. Judgment. 
what to do.
The Falcons make me rich! So it goes. Okay, that thing wasn't too bad. It was weak to every magic spell, every type of uh, magic. As if you managed to fail. My word is, my word. That is a great boon. You've saved me from certain death. What about that chest? Remember the chest there? Now it's gone. I was absorbing my exploration of the area. That had no idea I was wandering into its territory. What a pitiful end that would have been for one, Georges Lazuli. Ooh. Who? I can hear you asking. I am a student of the ruins of this great wide world. Albeit, not one of much renown, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of you, bro. Be that as it may, if you have any questions, fire away. I want to... What happened to that chest? Okay, it's there. Finisher's Claws. What the hell? Raises damage dealt by critical hits. Okay. So you, you build your... You build a... You get like a weapon that has high crit. And then you... Um, have like another accessory that boosts crit. And then you equip that on as your other... As your second accessory and... You just make a crit build. I don't know if it's worth it or not, but... I mean, it might be. Let's talk to him. Oh, he has another quartz rod. Got it, too. Gale Force Blade. Study the world's ruins as I have, and you pick up on of a few things. All the other linguistic scholars look like children, if you ask me. Huh. You don't really have a whole lot to say. I... <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Let's get some information from him. How to decipher unknown languages. An aged student of still more ancient ruins. An aged student of still more ancient ruins around the world. That's weird wording, but bright, cheerful, and nimble. His undimmed curiosity continues to drive him even in his old age. Of necessity, he has become a skilled linguistics, linguistist and codebreaker with peculiar expertise in deciphering ancient documents and inscriptions. Okay. There's an island over here, too. I think that's uh, one that was higher level, though. There's one right there.
But I think for now, we'll just go back to Berticio's uh, chapter. Not in this episode, though, but in the next episode. We'll start up Perticio's. Well, we already started it up. We have to continue it. As much as I would love to score the C, I don't really... It's going to help too much. Let's go to fence. All right, I'm ending the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.